and this article is also quite uh, interesting one because of the monetary policy of the RBI which is uh, having some kind of uh, interlinking aspects inflation and market economy and fiscal policy uh, which is influenced by such kind of monetary policy by the RBI. Okay. These are interlinking concepts please understand this article RBI may take open market operations route for government security sales. Okay. What is this open market operation route? Suppose if people not having so much of money and deflation condition is happening that means the fall of prices of the goods therefore RBI will release some money. And if there is huge demand in the market and money is in the hands of the public and inflationary pressure is occurring, therefore RBA sucks uh, some money from the hand, I mean, public right, uh, in the form of securities that is government securities at debt market at the bond market. right. So, if there is no money RBA will purchase and will release the money. If there is so much of money RBA will sell and definitely sup, I mean, they will suck the money from the market. This is what the RBA monetary policy goes rather than increasing rate of interest for the loans or decreasing rate of interest loans RBA may opt this open market operation okay, to take or to, uh, to dump some kind of money in the market right to pump or to suck money in the market the RBA may opt such kind of open market operation system. It is quite easy to understand these interlinking concepts this economy concept here for why such uh, action is taken by the RBA in this article because India's inclusion in the JP Morgan global bond index is promising that uh, India's sovereign debt market is going to witness such kind of demand uh, uh, which is exceeding its supply play rate. Okay. So, when India's sovereign debt market demand is increasing more than the supply, there will be huge pumping of money from the outside world also. Such huge pumping of money will create huge money in the hands of the public. It is very simple. If the bond market is very happening and yielding so much, therefore, people will come and purchase many bonds. Simple. If they purchase so much of bond here, Therefore, there is so much of money pumped in this market in the form of loans only the bond issued to them the debt instrument which is issued to those private players. Those private players who are purchasing these debt instruments the money will be pumped into the market and so much of money will be in the hands of the public therefore, it will create it will inflate the prices right. So, to curtail such kind of situation RBA will definitely suck some money in the form of government securities. Therefore, RBA will definitely uh, uh, sell its own bonds to the market and it will suck money into its pocket right. This is a kind of open market operation system. It is quite interesting to analyze and apply it in layman terms also and the regarding these concepts because the, there were previous year questions related to this monetary policy. In 2015 UPSC has asked about bank rates and open market operations which were part of this monetary policy. India's economy considered the following statement had this it has asked which were the following which of the above are part of this monetary policy. The first two are part of the monetary policy because the public debt and public revenue are not part of the monetary policy it is part of the fiscal policy of the government of India. Next coming to this question in this in the form of question we will be understanding this concept already I have explained it you can answer this question. They are the uh, open market operations regarding open market operation they are the purchase and sales of government securities by reserve bank of India on the centers behalf on the on the behalf of center to streamline money supply and interest rate to streamline money supply and interest rate because the money is supplied so much and to cut the supply of the money the RBI utilizes this instrument called open market operation. Next purchase of bonds via and MO, AOMO that is open market operation raises the price of bonds and reduce the rates. Actually yes definitely purchase of bonds via OMO open market raises sometimes and also reduces the uh, price of the bond market. This is uh, a kind of uh, deflation uh, to address the situation of deflation or inflation according to the time and need. Already we have discussed that entire concept. Next coming to this the next article short in the arm. This